So this video goes alongside a video that I'll put the link to below that shows how I raised the gantry on my 3018 CNC router. I want to put this separately because it's, a, it's sort of a different part of the topic, which is how did I create the connector that goes, that, that links the extruded piece that I've added or the extruded pieces that I've added to the CNC. And I wanted to, I don't have a 3D printer, so I couldn't 3D print those pieces. So I wanted to do basically the opposite of that, which is to machine the piece I want from a solid piece of plastic. So I went to the dollar store, um, picked up a $3 chopping board, which is just a, a nice five mil piece of plastic. And then what you see on the screen here is me designing the cutout of that plastic. So the piece that was on the screen when we started is one of the two pieces that I need on each side of the CNC. Um, and what you see is the gray box shows the outline of the, the piece. And then the four dots are actually drill holes. And, and that's all the capability of, of easel, which is the product I'm using. Everything I'm doing in here is just parts of standard easel. So what I've done here is I've drawn the shape of the box and I've done it with that little kick out just because I can. And now I need to put drill holes uh, in, into the box. Rather than drawing the drill holes individually, which you could do, you just drag them off that left-hand toolbar. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the existing uh, drill holes by selecting all of that shape, which actually also picks up the gray box. So I hold down shift, click on the gray box to deselect it. And then I'm just doing copy and pastes and then just dragging those across and making sure that they are aligned horizontally. Um, what I then saw was that I, I'd gone a little bit too far to the right. So again, using the same technique, selected all of those, hold down the shift key to unselect the gray box, and then I can just drag those over slightly to the left. And pretty much that's all it took. I just you know, drew out the shape by hand, put the drill holes in, make sure the depths are correct. That's probably the most important thing. Uh, I think I used six mil for actually the outline and the drill holes, and the plastic is five mil deep. So as you can see here, what it's actually doing is it's actually drilled sort of through the plastic and into the wasteboard. As, as I pry this out, you'll see, you can see the holes in the wasteboard. But actually, it came out really nicely. It's the first time I'd, I'd milled plastic, and um, I, I'm really pleased with it. The, it'd be nice if I could set the sort of the 20 mil hold sort of more scientifically, but I was able to do that fairly well using the grid. And what I ended up doing was I printed two of these larger pieces that you see, but I printed four of the smaller ones and I put those uh, sort of next, you know, sort of uh, facing each other just to make that piece a little bit more rigid. So if you go and watch the video that's linked below, you'll see what I did with these pieces of plastic. I, I just wanted to pull this video out separately just to try and keep things a, a little bit cleaner. Um, hope you enjoyed this and, and the other videos.